hi everybody welcome back so I've got a wardrobe update video today which is a new video that I've been putting up over the past few months or so and it's a way for me to sort of track the progress as to how my wardrobe is shaping up so hope you're enjoying it, these wardrobe update videos I'm really enjoying them as well so I usually sort of tell you the purchases that I have made any declutters and how things are kind of progressing with defining my personal style so let's start off with new purchases I have made two clothing purchases and two bits of jewelry purchases so jewelry let's start off with jewelry I'm wearing the jewellery. I have these little huggies from Missouri. These are the Easy Huggy Hoops in 14 karat yellow gold and I do try to stick to yellow gold, either pure gold or like overlay or verme. And I do really like wearing hoops. I had some little, and, and huggies, I had some little huggies that I bought from Etsy or not on the high street that cost me £10 and I have worn them to death. I love them so much because they are so easy to wear but I wanted something just slightly thicker but also in 14 karat gold so it could be a bit more durable and it isn't going to fade and it isn't going to tarnish and I, I looked so much <laughs> online at all the different companies what I could get and my jewellery just seemed to be more affordable than others and it did come quite highly recommended so I had a look on their website looked at all the different styles <clears throat> excuse me styles of huggies and hoops that they did but I didn't want to spend too much I suppose so I did go for the cheaper 14 karat gold option which is these little huggies and then if I wore these a lot and if I really liked them then maybe during the Black Friday sales where I think they have 20% off I will go for some hoops and I love these I have worn these pretty much every day since I bought them because they're so easy to wear they're really easy to get it to get in if I can show you I can't remember the style but they're not the style where you need to feed the the part of the earring into the circular part of the other part of the earring I hope that makes sense but I bought some hoops like that a couple of years ago and I don't wear them because of that style they're just so incredibly fiddly this is just a simple clasp and you hear the click and you know your earring is in so I like how easy they are to get in and out I don't keep these ones in all the time the only bit of jewelry I wear 24 7 is this bracelet these I do take out at the end of the day but that's just me I'm just the type of person who likes to remove all my jewelry apart from the bracelet and I just like how easy they are to wear. They go with whatever I'm wearing, whatever makeup I've got on, what whatever other jewellery I'm wearing. And I can leave it like this, or I can maybe put that in my second hole and wear a bigger hoop in this one. Or I can keep this one in my first hole and then in the second one I can put in a stud. So they're really easy to sort of interchange with other bits of jewellery. So I do think that when Majuri have their Black Friday sales I will get a bigger hoop because I do have a bigger hoop but it's like a twisted triple gold effect hoop and I would like just a plain one. But these absolutely love, would definitely recommend. Customer service was great, delivery was great and I've all, I'm just really really pleased with the earrings. I did also buy this. This is from Astrid and Miu however you pronounce it not quite sure I have loved this cuff for ages and I decided to just go for it to just buy it I think it's pretty I'm not entirely convinced though that it suits my style and my aesthetic so let me know do you think it looks a little bit weird or do you think actually you know it, it, it does suit me it does just kind of slide on and off your ear I do have to you know make sure that my hair isn't in the way because there has happened a couple of times where my hair's been kind of caught under it and I've gone to move my hair and I've kind of pulled the cuff and I also will not wear this outside this is an inside only <laughs> bit of jewelry because un unlike the earrings where it's clasped together this obviously because it's a cuff isn't and I had this on the other day I was in the kitchen and then my boyfriend came in and was like oh you've dropped this and I hadn't realised that this had fallen 
off my ear so I don't want to happen when that's outside because I will obviously then lose it so yeah this is, is an inside bit of jewellery anyway but I like that it's got a bit of sparkle on one bit of the cuff and then plain on the other bit of the cuff so it can be dressed down but also dressed up and again it's in gold although this is a gold plating I think. I don't think that I would bother getting this in like 14 karat, 9 karat, 24 karat gold, whatever, because I don't wear this as often as I do the Huggies. And like I say, because this is an inside only bit of jewellery, I don't want to be spending lots of money on something that I can't wear outside. But regardless, I do still think it is quite pretty. But yeah, I haven't quite yet decided whether it suits my overall aesthetic. So I also bought two bits of clothing. The first bit that I bought was some camel high-waisted tailored shorts from New Look. I bought these in a size 12. I like to go for a 12 for my bottom half. With my top half, I tend to stick to a 10, so I'm a 10 slash 12. And these fit really lovely. Now, I do already have five pairs of shorts, but they're all linen and they're all kind of fairly relaxed. And where I felt like my summer wardrobe or my summer capital wardrobe isn't looking exactly how I want it to look. I think I'm missing some bits of tailored clothing, some bits of structure in my summer wardrobe. And I follow Kate Hutchins on, on Instagram and she was wearing these tailored shorts and I thought those look beautiful. And they're from New Look, so really affordable. And I thought about it, I thought, well, I do have five other pairs of shorts, do I really need a sixth pair? But because they are tailored, they do give me that structure that I like to have in my outfits and they're a camel colour so they're a great basic for me, a great neutral colour, I can dress them up, I can dress them down. However, because the summer has been pants in this country, I haven't worn them yet and I haven't really worn much of my summer capsule wardrobe at all which is why I haven't been putting up regular outfits of the week pictures on my Instagram. I have this top on which is part of my summer capsule wardrobe but I've got trousers on that aren't so the summer capsule thing isn't really going that well this year but I will have a review on my summer capsule wardrobe coming middle of September before autumn starts so we will talk about that then but anyway these shorts really really happy with them they're very very beautiful like I say you can dress them up you can dress them down there's space for a belt in it as well so very very pleased with that purchase but it's just a shame I haven't been able to wear them much because of the weather. And then the last bit of clothing I bought is an item that I have been after for months. I think I spoke about this in my wardrobe wish list video that I put up months ago. So I have noticed a gap in my wardrobe, which is a pair of tailored wide leg dark brown trousers. And I have been searching on and off for months for a pair but for some reason reason they just seem really fairly hard to come by without going really cheap or really expensive and a pair from Abercrombie and Fitch did keep popping up when I was doing these searches so I went on TikTok had a look at some some try-ons some people's thoughts about them and thought you know what just just go for it because they seem okay in terms of price slightly more expensive than I would ideally like to pay but they do seem to be quite a popular trouser so I ordered three sizes in the dark brown I went for the Sloan tailored pant and then I bought two of the curve ones because where my hips are my widest part of my body I thought well let's try the curve because they do accommodate a slightly wider slightly larger hip and butt area so I thought well let's try those and I did hear and also from the reviews as well that sizing comes up quite small so I bought a 30 inch waist 31 and 32 but I didn't need to buy the two bigger sizes my my true waist my 30 inch waist that one fitted absolutely perfectly wouldn't go up wouldn't go down it was spot on so for me the sizing was accurate so I did send back the two curved pairs that were in the 31 and the 32 I did try them on they were obviously bigger around the waist but also much bigger around the hip and butt area they didn't look right on me but it is good that they do have that option so if you are 
curvier and wider around that area of your body you do have that option and these I did get these on did I get these with a 20% off or a Oh, no, I had them with a discount, so it actually cost me £61.67 for that pair of trousers. But I've now filled that gap in my wardrobe. This can be a year-round bit of trouser to wear, and I love my wide leg, high-waisted, tailored trousers. They are part of my sort of go-to daily outfit, so very, very pleased with them. I've only worn them once so far. I wore them out to dinner the other day, and they were very, very comfortable even after having a three course meal. So yeah, very, very pleased with those. So those were the purchases that I've made. So next thing I wanna talk about is a YouTube channel that I have, I think stumbled on in the past, but recently I have been really obsessed with. <laughs> I've watched like most of her videos and she is Audrey Coyne. I'm sure some of you have come across her videos. She's very, very popular. She's got a lot of subscribers and she puts up these brilliant fashion styling videos so it's not about buying lots of new clothes it's working with what you've got and really trying to establish a style and an aesthetic that suits you and is true to yourself so yeah I've watched loads of her videos really enjoy her videos I, I really enjoy the way she presents the information as well she's very very calm, very easy to listen to, and she just seems like such a lovely person. So I've been very much enjoying her videos. I did buy her PDF, her capsule wardrobe PDF. It was only a few quid, so I thought, why not? Let's give that a go. And I have been going through the guidance in that PDF. I have tried on every single piece of clothing that I've owned, that I own. Let me try that again. I have tried on every single piece of clothing that I own as a way to go through everything and see if there's anything that I want to declutter. So the way that she recommends that you do this is you work in sections. So you try on all of your trousers, all of your jeans, all of your short skirts, your long skirts, etc, etc. And she says as well, don't try to do this all in one go, all in one day. And that's something that I have done in the past when I've wanted to declutter and I've wanted to try on every bit of clothing that I own. I've kind of felt like I should do it all in one go but then I get tired and I get irritable and I don't make clear decisions on the pieces of clothing so I've actually done this over numerous days over the past month and I've gone through absolutely everything so she says when you try things on say do you like it does it fit does it suit you and if it ticks all of those boxes then that is probably something that you should keep and then try and figure out whether that is a year round piece or whether that is a piece that you would only wear in the summer or only in the winter. And then when you do that, you can separate those clothes into say like a summer section of your wardrobe or like a year round section. And then that will help you determine what pieces you have for your capsule wardrobe for each of the four seasons. So I found that really interesting and really useful. And I have identified some declutters from doing that process so i think i will probably put this in another video because some of those pieces of clothing are in my summer capsule wardrobe at the moment but i've identified nine bits of clothing although three of them have question marks on them so i'm going to come back to those and actually see whether they are going to be a declutter or not but i have a mixture of some tank tops i've got a couple of t-shirts i've got a couple of dresses in there a jumper so it seems like my bottom half of my wardrobe is, is kind of sorted. I like all of that, but it's just the top half where I've identified some items that I want to declutter. So if you've not checked out Audrey Coins videos, go and check them out. They are very, very helpful and also just a pleasure to watch. Somebody else that I've been loving watching on YouTube and also on TikTok is Alison Bornstein and she is a stylist. She has some fantastic videos as well and she has a method called the three words. And these are three style words and these help to define your personal style. So one word reflects kind of your baseline style, so where you are at the moment. So for this, she recommends that you get everything out of your wardrobe and you pick out the pieces that you wear on a real frequent daily basis. And these kind of reflect your current style. These are the pieces that you gravitate 
towards. For your second word, this captures your aspiration, so how you kind of want to look. And then the third one is more emotional and it's how you want to feel in your clothes. And I've been trying to figure out what my three words are. So for the pieces that I currently have in my wardrobe and the pieces that I tend to buy on a regular basis, I think that word would be classic because I have like classic shirts, t-shirts, I wear jeans on a frequent basis, I wear my wide leg tailored trousers on a regular basis as well. So I feel like classic does fit that first word pretty well but it's for the other two words where I, I struggle and I'm just looking through this conversation here that I had with my friend because I wanted to get her opinions and I said classic and then maybe structured that's how I want to look I want to have a structured look to my outfits because if I look through my Pinterest and all the pictures and the pins that I've kind of saved they do have a structure to them but they don't look stiff or hugely formal but they just <laughs> without keep repeating the word they do have a structure to them they are so I quite like for example like a a tight fitting top like a tight figure hugging like turtleneck and then tucked into a pair of like smart wide leg trousers that is very much the type of look that I like so I think structured might be one and then I've got here for my third word maybe something like neat but I'm not really sure about that one so I asked her for what she thought my three words might be and that is something that Alison recommends as well she says if you're struggling with the three words ask your family ask your friends ask your partner and see what they say and I really liked her words she says collected warm and classic and she says you put look put together in a warm approachable way so it's not warm as in just the colours that I'm wearing. I do wear a warm colour palette but I liked that she said I looked warm in an approachable way. I thought that one was quite nice and she says your wardrobe shows you've, you've put it together with lots of thought which is nice I, and I do think that I do do that as well. I do put a lot of thought into, into what I buy and she says I've got a nice collection of essential staples that look chic. So collected warm and classic were her words and I really like those three words. I did also ask my boyfriend as well what his three words for me would be and he said casual, smart and considered and I do just want to say casual and smart they do kind of conflict with each other. I'm, you could be thinking well how can you be casual and also smart but actually that's another thing that Alison says as well is that with your words you do want a bit of like contradiction in there as well. So casual as in I do wear I suppose like t-shirt and jeans that, that has a casual laid back feel to it. Smart, I can't remember why he said smart but I do see in myself that I do dress smart and considered and I asked him what he meant by considered and he says well you put a lot of thought into absolutely everything you wear like your jewellery, your top, your makeup, you, you question everything that you kind of put on so I do like both of those three words. I think classic has to be in there. If we're going by house of colour I'm a natural classic but I don't want to just use those two words because I feel like that's a little bit of a cop out with this three words process but classic I think has to be in there. But this is where I'm opening it up to you. <laughs> I know with most of my videos you only see this part of me but when I've done my fashion videos as well when I've tried clothes on and I suppose just my aesthetic and how I'm coming across it would be really interesting to see what you guys think my three style words would be but also what your three style words are as well so please do let me know down below it would be really interesting to see what you come up with but anyway that's been really interesting so if you haven't seen her videos go and check those out as well especially the three words videos really really interesting and on her tiktok she has lots of examples of well as well of where she's looked at celebrity styles and come up with their their three words as well so very very interesting. I also want to talk as well about some gaps that I have found in my wardrobe so when I went out for dinner the other week honestly I spent about 20 minutes in front of my wardrobe like I've got a load of clothes but I've got nothing 
to wear and I was getting really stressed out I was having a bit of a mardy moment and I was like I don't know what to wear and my boyfriend had to come and help me and he was like right okay start off with the shoes what shoes are you wearing what's the weather gonna do what shoes do you want to wear bear in mind we've got to walk there a little bit start off with the shoes so I did that and then we kind of moved up and did the outfit like that but what I have discovered is that I don't have a a nice top you know jeans and a nice top I don't have a nice top to wear to go out for dinner I have lots of these t-shirts and then I have like thin knits and then shirts but I don't have anything a bit nicer a bit not that these aren't nice but I don't have anything a bit nicer a bit fancier to wear for a meal out so that is a gap that I have identified and what I'm thinking of is maybe like I do love a bardo like a bardo top maybe like a nice red or a rust or maybe some sort of like sweetheart neckline top so something just a little bit more interesting because of what I did end up wearing was my dark brown trousers that I've bought from Abercrombie & Fitch and then my Cezanne shirt it looked nice but that's something that I would wear on like a daily basis anyway so I do need a nice top to wear when I'm going out for a meal or as well either or a nice dress as well I have summer dresses and then I've got more like a wedding appropriate dress it's a dress that I wear that I wore to my friend's wedding and I'm also going to wear to an upcoming wedding in January and it felt a little bit too dressy for the meal out so I wanted something that again is nice looks like I've put in some effort but it isn't too casual or too over the top so I'm thinking three quarter length sleeves v-neck I do very much like a v-neck a wrap waist and knee length so those are two gaps that I have identified at the moment. In terms of the rest of my wardrobe, I don't think that there's any gaps. There's nothing that I am missing as such. I'm not getting dressed on a daily basis and going, oh, I really need this. So I think for now, those are the only two gaps. But it might be when we move into a different season, when we move into autumn, that I might then notice that there are other gaps. And then just quickly, I am still documenting my daily outfits on, what is it, is it on Stylebook, that's the name of the app that I use. I am doing really well with some of my items of clothing. The trousers that I have on at the moment are ooh, these dark brown kind of joggers, I suppose, from m and I wear these a lot because they are really comfortable really easy to wear with other bits of clothing but they can look smart as well they're down to 28p cost per wear other things like my Cezanne belt that is down to £1.75 so oh, so glad that I bought that belt I was originally thinking £65 for a belt it's very expensive but I've worn it loads haven't worn it much during the summer but that is definitely a spring and an autumn potentially a winter bit of clothing as well so when we get into autumn that will go down even further things as well like my uniqlo cream wide leg trousers £2.90 my supergas which i might at some point declutter i'm not sure £3.90 not too bad and then the other one i want to mention is my plen numero 10 bag which originally cost me with postage £370 so a lot of money that's down to £10 cost per wear that is my go-to bag so much so that I might do a bag declutter. I don't have many bags, but I might declutter a couple that I have because I just, I reach for that Pelem one all the time. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And I'm actually considering getting another one, but getting the Umi in the darker, richer brown for the autumn. But I'm not gonna make up my mind just yet, because, but I know that I'm getting my, my use out of this bag so it would be nice to maybe have another style but that would also be a lot of money so I'm definitely not making up my mind on that yet but yeah I am really enjoying still documenting my outfits every single day and sort of seeing the cost per wear change for all of them and I think that's all that I wanted to speak about in this video I say all it's probably going to be a long video so if you have made it this far thank you very much for watching 
hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is you are doing, and I will see you again very soon for my next one.